I want to get to the ongoing stoppage at the border where the impact on Michigan is more than just a traffic backup. At noon, an injunction hearing will be held in hopes of ending the blockade in Windsor. The city of Windsor and Ontario business leaders are filing that injunction and Michigan could lend a hand. We're joined now by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Governor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, what kind of uh, effort is your office making to ease the situation happening at the border right now with Canada? Have you offered any resources? And if so, what's the reception been? Well, as you can imagine, we've been burning up the phone lines, talking with our counterparts across the border and everyone in the White House to the cabinet secretaries to our congressional delegation. It's all hands on deck. I don't think people understood what a huge economic impact this would have on working families in Michigan, across the Midwest, those in Canada as well. There is hundreds of millions of dollars that are being lost every day as a result of this blockade. And while we respect protesters' right to protest, what they don't have is a right to bring an economy to its knees, to put a lot of people out of work. There are a lot of hardworking men and women who wanna show up to work right now in an industry that's just getting their footing back and now um, there's there's so much chaos and, and it's going to cost a lot of damage to our economy and to businesses across Michigan. That's right. Our economy and the economy across the border as well. Now that injunction hearing is expected to happen today at noon in an effort to move the blockade away from the border crossing. How do you expect this to play out? And even if the judge rules that those folks have to leave, do you think they're actually going to do it? Well, listen, what I've called on is the U.S. government and the Canadian government to work together and to do whatever it takes to resolve this, to move the protest away from this bridge. We know how crucial this is. It's quickly turning into a homeland security issue on top of the economic pain that they've already caused. As I said, I respect protesters' right to have a voice and a protest. They don't have a right to close everything down and create so much pain. So what I have said to everyone I've talked to is if there is a role for Michigan to play to be helpful and quickly and safely resolving this, we're eager to know what that is and to, to step up. But at this juncture, it is on the Canadians to resolve this with the protesters and to get this blockade uh, to disintegrate the blockade because we've got to open up commerce. This is having devastating impacts to all of us. And now the uh, folks over there in Windsor are saying that uh, assistance is coming in from different jurisdictions to help remove that blockade. Are there any Michigan resources being uh, offered? You know, at this juncture, we don't have a role. I have said if, where there's an opportunity or a need, if we can aid in safely and swiftly resolving this. We will be partners in that. We are absolutely connected. We want to get this bridge open. It is critical for our industry, for our people, for our homeland security. And if there's a role for Michigan to play, we're, we're eager to know what that is. But in the meantime, we're pressuring uh, the Canadian government to resolve this quickly. All right, of course, we'll be watching that hearing and uh, hope that there's some resolution to this, a peaceful resolution uh, over in Windsor. Governor Gretchen Whitmer, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. Thank you.